Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. Can I have your resume, please? Yes, ma'am. Your name is Sirisha, right? Yes, ma'am. So, tell me about yourself. My name is Sri Sirisha Benna Makbula. I am from Hyderabad. I have completed my B.Tech in Mechanical Engineering and Batch and Masters in Mechatronics Engineering. I come from a nuclear family. My strengths are I am hardworking, disciplined and self-motivated. Uh, my hobbies are I like to draw and listen to music. My short term goal is to get a good job in software industry and my long term goal is to be in a managerial position in a reputed company like yours. Okay. So what technical skills? My technical skills are I have learned manual testing uh, and Java programming so far. Can I have some questions in Java? Yes ma'am. So explain five features of Java. Java is a simple programming language. It is platform independent. It is architecture neutral. It is portable, multi-threaded and it is a uh, distributed uh, programming language. Okay. So what are OOPS concepts? The different OOPS concepts are class, object, data enc encapsulation, data abstraction, polymorphism and inheritance. Okay. What is inheritance? Inheritance is the process of obtaining data members and methods from one class to another class. Okay. What are types of inheritance? The different types of inheritance are simple inheritance, multi-level inheritance, higher hierarchical inheritance, multiple inheritance and hybrid inheritance. Okay. So what is variable? A variable is a identifier whose value changes during the execution of a program. What are the different types of variables? The different types of variables are instance variable and static variable. Instance variable is a variable whose memory allocation takes place whenever an object is created. And static variable is a variable whose memory allocation takes place when a method is called in the main memory. Okay, what is an array? An array is an object which stores multiple elements of same data type. Okay, write some programs. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, okay. How to print array elements in reverse order? Okay, ma'am. I'll yeah, write Thank you, ma'am. Now I'm going to write a program to print array elements in reverse order. Here I have taken uh, a, a class reverse array. I have initiate, initialized uh, uh, an array a is equals to so, so many numbers and uh, now the logic for this program is first I want to print the last element. So I am going to start my for loop from int i is equal to a dot length minus 1 because we have uh, a dot length is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and a dot length minus 1 is 4. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So my index starts at i is equal to 4. i greater than or equal to 0, i minus minus. Now I am printing a of ith element. First when i is equal to 0, i is equal to 4, 10 will be printed. 
it will be it will be checking the condition i is greater or equal to 0 4 is greater or equal to 0 so 10 will be printed then i will reduce then i will become 3 then i condition will be true so it will print 3 uh, 9 6 5 and 1 the output of this program will be like this yes ma'am okay how to sort array elements in ascending and descending order okay ma'am I have taken a class ascending order. I have initialized a array with these elements and I have taken a temporary variable int temp. Now, I have to swap these two numbers. If, if I want this array in ascending, in ascending order, the first number should be 1, the second number should be 3, the next number should be 6, 10 and 15. This should be the final outcome. So now what I am going to do is, I am going to compare every two values, the first value with all other values and swap them if the value is less, greater than the other value. Now, first I am going to take int i is equals to 0, i less than a dot length, i plus plus and I want to compare it with the next element. So, int j is equal to i plus 1, j less than a dot length, j plus plus. Now, if a of i is greater than a of j, first i is equals to 0 and j is equals to i plus 1, so j is 1. So first my pointer is i here and j is here. Now I want to see if a of i is greater than a of j. Yes, it is greater. So I am I have written a logic to swap two elements in array. Now it will swap 1 and 10. 
now one it now it now arrow will become one ten six fifteen three next it will compare one with all other elements but one is small than all other elements so no no swapping takes place so therefore one will be fixed then it will compare ten with the remaining elements i i will be ten and j will be six fifteen and three it will swap them if the numbers are greater than this number like that all the swapping takes place and the final printout will be like this 1 3 6 10 and 15 okay you can write the descending order also right? yes ma'am if we want to descend if we want to write the same program for descending order the only thing we have to change here is we have to give less than symbol okay how to find consecutive numbers in given array? Okay, ma'am. Here I have written the program to print consecutive numbers in a given array. First of all, what are consecutive numbers? Consecutive numbers are those numbers which come one after the other. Like 5 and 6 are consecutive, 20 and 21 are consecutive. Now I now am going to write a for loop to compare the any two values in an array. First I am going to take i is equal to 0 because our uh, loop should start from 0. 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6. i less than a dot length. A length is 7. So a dot uh, i is till 6. i plus plus. Now we are comparing a of i plus 1 and a of i. First one i is equals to 0. a of i plus 1 is a of 1. a of 1 is 5. So 5 minus a of 5. a of i is 3. Because i is 0. Now 5 minus 3 is equals to equal to 1. No, it is false. So it will go to else statement and print not consecutive. Then it will come. It, then I will increase by one. 
Now a of i plus 1 is 6 and a of i is 5. 6 minus 5 is 1. So it will print 5 and 6 are consecutive numbers. Like that it will complete the entire array. Okay. Yeah, please sit to us. Thank you ma'am. The situation for technical round is completed. Let's have to get back to you. Okay ma'am. Thank you very much.